Good afternoon. Imagine that you and your significant other have just gave birth to a baby or decided to adopt a child. Now imagine that you've been provided with 480 days of paid parental leave. That is what all employees currently receive from their employers if you leave, if you live in Sweden. Countries around the world who currently provide paid parental leave to their citizens have seen a greater increase in employee productivity after returning to work. They've also seen a decrease in time off requested after they've returned to work from having this baby or from adopting a child. If you'll notice on the screen, it shows some statistics of different countries around the world that provide so many paid, per, paid days, paid weeks off for paid parental leave. If you will notice in the United States, there are zero weeks that, have, that are paid for this time off. I would like to share with you today many facts that I have found during my research on this topic on mandatory paid parental leave. In my speech today, I'll provide facts based on the overall impact of paid parental leave in other countries and just a few states in the United States, which have mandatory paid parental leaves versus the rest of the United States that only offer 12 weeks of unpaid FMLA time. If you'll notice here, these are some of the weeks that fathers get off for the birth of a child or for the adoption of a child. Again, if you will notice, the United States is zero. If you'll notice in South Korea, that's 53 weeks of paid time off. The problem that I see is that both parents in the United States don't get to take this time off with their, their newborn children or their recently adopted children. The cause of this is the United States government has not passed this law yet in the United States. The solution that I see is providing this paid time off for these specific instances. And the reason that I see that this would be a really good attribute is to spend time with the newly born child, to get things together, to build up your immune system for afterwards so you're not calling into work so much, and forget to spend that bonding time with your new child or the adopted child that you've decided to recently adopt. Can you personally imagine the benefit of having this time off, not only to bond, but also to heal during this time? So let's start with a few facts that I found. So Ms. Annie Finnegan from Working Mom states that studies show that many women who have this time to take off can breastfeed their babies longer. This also boosts the baby's immune system, which reduces the chances of the child for becoming sick, which reduces the time off that the mom's gonna request once she has to go back to work. Paid parental leave also reduces turnover rates and as employees remain loyal to their employers because they provide that time off to the employees. An article by the National Partnership Organization states that employees who do not have access to paid leave are more likely to leave their jobs. 87% of the businesses in California, which in California this has been implemented, have actually seen a cost savings due to the reduction in turnover cost. After the paid parental leave was implemented in the state of California, the Harvard Business Review stated that nearly 99% of employees have reported a positive or a neutral resort result to the employee morale. That's huge. The report, report further states that the paid leave had a positive effect on employee productivity of approximately 90% of the overall business. By providing the paid parental leave to all citizens in the United States, this would reduce future sick time leave after they've come back from their leave once the baby has been born. The leave will, the, this leave will allow time for the mothers and the babies to build a stronger immune system, which in turn re reduces the time off that they will need once they come back after the 12 weeks that they currently have. A more engaged workforce will in turn result to a more, more positive employee morale and overall more productivity on the production floor. So let's review what we've been over. Countries around the world who currently provide this paid parental leave to their citizens 
see an increase in employee morale, see a decrease in time off requested after they've returned to work, and it's getting more time to take better care of their selves during this paid time off. While many employers feel that providing a paid parental leave to their employees will be detrimental to the overall cost, the facts show that employer, employers also actually see a cost savings due to the morale, the productivity, and the decreased time off requested after they've returned from these leaves. With these proven facts shown, my question is, how can the United States government not pass this mandatory law when it shows the value to both the employee and the employer. I encourage each of you to ask your employer about the paid parental leave that your company currently has. If they do not support this type of leave, I ask you to share these facts with each one of them. If each company begins to support these leaves over time as a nation of employees and employers will, will be able to benefit from this time off. Thank you for your time.